We are so glad you took the time to dig us up. So, let's get to the wooden stake point, shall we, my dear fiends? <laughs> Hello fiends, and welcome to Monster Magazine Weekly. We are way behind on our weekly programs, and here's why. At the last minute, we decided to make a December issue of Monster Magazine. The project was greenlit, and work began the last week of October, with a deadline of November 16th, 2018. Many of our people were not available in such a short amount of time. Luckily, we did have some super cool friends who dove in to help us out. To those folks who appeared in the magazine or encouraged us from the sidelines, we thank you. On November 23rd, 2018, Black Friday, we released Monster Magazine Issue 3. Our article that appeared at VanceCapley.com read, Vincent Price Special. In issue number three, we have Nash Evil, Tennis Screams, Horror Host Most Horrible, Dr. Gangrene. We chat with him about how he became our horror host, and we ask him what is the definitive Vincent Price film. Dave Good of The Good Stuff Blog discusses The Pit and the Pendulum. Mark Ballard reviews Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival 2018. We take a lurk at the art of Robbie Brown. Wayne Judge discusses the Gold Key Comics Dark Shadows comic series. And speaking of comics, we wrap it up with Sky Phantom SR-71, a strip by Vance Capley. 24 pages of fun, and as always, we have a great new cover by super artist Ricky Blaylock. Because it was Black Friday, nothing happened. But it took off Cyber Monday, November 26th. 2018. We hope that if you're able, you'll grab a copy either at VanceCapley.com or at Lulu.com. And if you can't, please share this video with friends, neighbors, and anyone else who is willing to listen to the ravings of a madman. November was a month loaded with horror classics being celebrated in one way or another. Let's review, Let's review this, month this month in horror, horror history. history. November 3rd, 1954, Godzilla is released nationwide and becomes a big hit. Get it? Big hit? Godzilla's a giant? No? Okay. November 5th, 1943, saw the release of Son of Dracula with Lon Chaney sinking his teeth into the role. Ah, better? Hmm. November 7th, 1971, Hammer nails it. No? Okay. With Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde with Ralph Bates and Martine Beswick. November 8th, 1847 was the birth of the father of Count Dracula, Bram Stoker. November 10th, 1889, we celebrated the birth of Claude Rains, the definitive Invisible Man. November 12th, 1943, the Mad Ghoul was unleashed upon theater goers with George Zucco, Turhan Bay, Evelyn Ankers, and don't forget Doc from Gunsmoke, Milburn Stone. November 13th, 1933, based on H.G. Wells' novel, Universal Pictures releases The Invisible Man with Claude Rains, The Unsinkable Gloria Stewart, I thought that joke was Titanic, and direction from Frankenstein's James Whale. Speaking of James Whale, November 21st, 1931, Universal Pictures releases Frankenstein. November 23rd, 1887, is the birth of the late, great Boris Karloff. On that same day in 1917, Michael Goff is born. And the British TV classic Doctor Who premiered November 23, 1963. November 27th saw the passing of film star John Carradine, born 1906. And that was the, was month, the month of November, of November in, in horror, horror history. history. In December, we're planning to make more podcasts and prep for our February Dracula Valentine issue number four of Monster Magazine. But we need your support. Buy some cool stuff at VanceCapleyArt.com. When you buy the Monster Magazine swag, it supports us so we can keep on doing this. And as I said before, if you aren't able, then share all things Monster Magazine. If you like this video, make sure you share it and subscribe. And we fang you scary much for watching Monster Magazine Weekly. We'll see you next week. Good fright and good night.
lost interest in your favorite comic heroes? Do the current stories make you feel bored, restless, even lethargic? Are you reading back issues out of the 50 cent bin more often than not? Friends, you are not alone. There are thousands just like you, and the cure is Devil Bat. Devil Bat is a 48 page adventure comic by Vance Capley, released by Visual Comics and available through Lulu.com. Side effects include lack of sleep, increased adrenaline, antsiness for the next story, and really, really wanting to buy more Devil Bat merchandise. Ask your comic shop if Devil Bat is available for you, or get your copy at Lulu.com. Isn't it time for good comics again? Let Devil Bat start you on that journey today. Devil Bat Issue 2, May 31st, from Visual Comics, available at Lulu.com.